amigos de Grandes en los Deportes, uh, Mike Trout. Mike, you grew up in Millville, uh, New Jersey, part of that three state area. What would you say was your first approach to Dominican culture? Um, you know, when I first signed rookie, uh, when I first signed with through, uh, the Angels, I think, you know, seeing guys that, uh, you know, come from the Dominican and um, getting to know them a little bit and just seeing how uh, great people they are. And it's uh, it was pretty cool meeting the guys and getting to know them. How do you think it has helped to evolve your game, like the cultural shock and the blending of taking things that you like from that culture and being able to adapt to things that you weren't familiar with? For sure. I think, like you said, when you when you see other, you know, guys come from different countries, they're, they're brought up obviously different than, um, you know, where you're from. So it's cool to see and talk to them um, how they got there and, uh, you know, they can – They could teach you a lot of a lot of cool things, especially with you know hitting and you know like I said when when Albert when I first came and saw Albert it was uh, you know it was pretty pretty remarkable what he could bring to the game and what he brought to the game and uh, be able to pick his brain. For getting baseball in a personal aspect, how meaningful it was when you met Albert and all I mean, when you met Albert mm -hmm. like personally, not baseball wise, and how it basically shaped you. Uh, yeah, no, I life. think, um, you know, when I f first met him, obviously you hear everything about, you know, what he brings to the game of baseball, but uh, the person he was off the field, I think that was um, that was big for me. He was a mentor mentor for me, um, you know, anything I needed to. He's been in his game a long time, and he's been through a lot of stuff. So um, to, you know, to be able to have that support and um, him being there, it's, uh, it meant a lot to me. I know for sure you do. You did a lot of travel board. Yeah. Was the DR one of the best? I never went to the DR. No, but I hear a lot of great things about it. Um, I think the furthest, uh, I think I traveled to like, went to Puerto Rico for a little bit uh, for Team USA, but never got to Dominican, no. You remember 2015 when you got your Dominican K by Arbor Pujols at your birthday? Like the egg, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yep. that, was, that was a tradition here. Uh, yeah, he loved that. Uh, every every time my birthday came up, I was like uh, trying to hide from him because I knew he was trying to give me the eggs. It's been a different animal right now. Like everything has changed since you made your debut, and now it's higher percentage of Latino players. Mm -hmm. And in a way, the game has changed like towards that direction, like bat flipping and all the celebration. What's your take on that? Yeah, no, I've obviously I, I was brought up uh, different eras and stuff, and um, You know, you know, big moments. You know, guys get excited, so I'm not, I'm all for it. So it's 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 uh, you know, it's it's one thing to do it. For me, it's like, you know, just if the guys are having fun, you know, let them have fun. I think that's that's the big thing. Yeah, you know, you're not trying to show up anybody. Just it's uh, it's it's part of the game now, and you know, guys are loving it. People love it. I think it brings brings uh, a little bit more fun to the fans too. What's your go-to when having? Dominican lunch because I I, I know uh, you're yeah I go oxtail oxtail and rice yeah I love it and finally how about the music or any other topic that you like about the Dior yeah no I, I enjoy it like every, every so often I walk in the clubhouse and there's some uh, Dominican music going on and you know I'm jamming to it too so thanks a lot Mike. yeah no problem thank you so for Mike Trout para grandes de los deportes